layers give you the ability to interact with your properties and the assets of those properties inside of your timeline. So as you see here, we have an image called Hannibal, which is this elephant. And I'll go ahead and just drag him over here manually. And as you can see, when I drag things into my comp panel, I duplicate that particular object and we have more layers. I'll go ahead and move this up so we can see what's going on. Now, with these different layers, I have several switches and I also have all these little things here. So layers are very interactive in the things that you can do with them. We can take something on one layer and we can hide it by clicking on the eyeball. And we can bring it back, of course, by clicking on the eyeball again. You can also lock layers by clicking on this little lock symbol, which means if I try to move anything, I can't. This is a great way to make sure you don't move anything that you've placed exactly where you want. So let me go ahead and unlock those. We can also delete things on layers by simply hitting delete on the keyboard. If you want to duplicate a layer, press command or control and the letter D. So I'll go ahead and do that three times. And I've quickly duplicated this layer. We also have the ability to change the colors of the layer and the representation of them in the timeline. Now if you look over here, we have these four blue bars and these four blue boxes. Now this is really handy when you want to, at a glance, tell what you're dealing with. So you might want to come up with a methodology. For example, all of your audio will always be yellow and all of your pictures will always be green, for example and all of your sound effects or your vocals or whatever you want to have music for example which of course does count as audio but if you want to really streamline it even further you can give everything a different color so you could just look over here and say okay this is the audio for this, this is the audio for that and so on it's really cool layers also can be interacted with by using these things called switches now you see this little guy right here this is called shy now it sounds a little weird but what happens is I can go ahead and click the little shy guy right here on these layers and nothing happens until I invoke the master switch which is this guy here. So if I go ahead and hit this, this will hide every single layer that has the shy switch. So I can focus on this layer and when I want to get back to seeing everything else, click this guy again. Whenever I need to do things that are going to require 3D and I need the layer to have a camera and a light, for example, I have to click right here to turn it into a 3D layer. So now these guys can actually be spun around in 3D. Let me go ahead and turn those off. We also have the ability to parent things to each other. And I talk more about that in another part of this tutorial, but definitely check that out. So this guy right here is called a pick whip, and you can click on it and drag a child to its parent. Likewise, I can change the parent in this list here as well. It's really, really cool. I also have the ability to go down here and I can toggle switches and modes so I can get more stuff to work with in my layers. So layers are able to really streamline how you work inside of the application. You can give things colors, you can hide and show things, you can even mute audio if there's audio here, and you can also twirl these guys open. These little arrows here are called twirlies, believe it or not, and I twirl them open, you can see the properties that relate to this particular layer. So I can animate the anchor point, the position, the scale, the rotation, and the opacity. So that is a quick look at layers. We will be using layers throughout the rest of this tutorial.